hey guys in this video i am going to show you that how to fix external hard drive is not working in your windows 10 or 11 so i will show you the three methods to solve this error i hope one of them will work for you in our first method you just need to open your run box by pressing window plus r at once and then search here for disk mgmt.msc and then click ok and here you have to just click on the action and then click on the rescan disk so wait for processing and after this you will find here your disk in the volume so once you find here you have to just right click on it as i currently not have any external drive with my pc so i just right click on my c drive and then click on the change drive path and the letter so make sure that you have to just right click on your external hard drive that is not working so once you are here you have to just click on the change and here just click on the alphabet and then you have to just change the alphabet for that external drive once you done your problem will be fixed just click ok and it will automatically save and then you have to just close all of these windows and refresh your pc one to two time and your problem will be fixed now moving to our second method you have to just right click on your windows icon in the bottom left and then click on the device manager so basically we just need to update the driver of the hard drive and doing so our problem will be fixed so for this just click on the disk driver expand this option and then right click on your disk driver and then click on the update driver once you click on it click on the search automatically for drivers wait for searching and you can see that in my case the hard driver has been updated just close this window and now click on the action option in the top menu and then click on the scan for hardware changes once you done wait for completing this processing and after that your problem may be fixed moving to our last and the final solution you have to just open your settings and then click on the update and security and then click on the windows update and check that if any update is available for your windows or pc then you have to just update it and after update you have to just restart your system one time and your problem will be fixed i hope this video will be very helpful for you for more information you can visit my website whose link i have shared in this video's description so leave a like and a comment for this video and also subscribe my channel let me guide thanks for watching